Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a visual ByteBit program in Bash from scratch. ByteBit uh, is a technique first introduced by Bisnut about 10 years ago, and it is about very short, low level programs that take advantage of bitwise operations to produce an aesthetic output in audio or video. Okay, in binary there is an intrinsic rhythm or pattern of representation where in an increment each binary digit, each bit, changes at the double of the speed of the previous one. Meaning this. This is zero in binary, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, maybe you notice that the in the rightmost column, the first column, you have a two-step pattern, zero, one, zero, one, etc. Now, in the second column, you have a, a pattern of four steps the double of the previous one, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, etc. And in the third column, the same, the double of the previous, uh, an eight-step pattern, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, this extends to any binary representation of any number. Uh, therefore, bitwise operations will also produce patterns related to powers of two, giving a kind of symmetry that can be aesthetically, aesthetically exploited. That's why I set up this terminal to 64 columns. Any byte bit program will look basically like this. Uh, an infinite loop with an increment of t, that t for time, that will be our only variable, an expression involving t, of course, and the, and the output of our expression will be root or assigned to an audio or video parameter or device. Okay. This will be the, the basic structure of any byte bit program. Now, um, I will actually program it uh, here in the terminal. So we need um, an infinite loop, an increment of t, And for now, I'm going to show you just the, the actual value of t in each iteration. Okay. Now we have this infinite counter and we need to limit the output to fit the byte capacity of representation. That is zero to two five five. Uh, and that's why it is called byte bit. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to introduce an expression here and do t and 255. You can do, uh, instead of, of using an, an and 255, you can do t modulo 256. Okay, but uh, bitwise operations are less expensive in terms of computation and also the peculiar behavior of bitwise operations is uh, what makes ByteBit so original. They don't have a, 
direct mathematical equivalent. Now uh, we need to assign our output to uh, some some visual parameter. I'm going to use for this um, the ANSI escape sequence for changing the background color. This is I think 48, 5, and then here the color. Yes. Okay. So I will change echo for printf. And I will introduce a blank space so we can see actually the background color. And that's it. Okay, that's, that's it for now. You can check my channel in or my Instagram or GitHub for more things about Bybit and let me know if you like this and so I can make another video showing more details uh, if you find this useful or interesting. Okay, bye.